I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss what SQL Server query to check number of connections on database. So let's write the query. So first, I'm going to use add your select statement. Now here after going to use at this point db underscore. So if you press underscore, you can find at your db id and db name. So going to use or uh, db name. So at here this is about db name. It's a built-in function for db name database id. So it accept at your addition and return in back here. Now here after going to pass inside at here. Or uh, db id so db id going to pass add here as so giving the alias name or db name so this is the alias now the next uh, going to use at this point count so going to use count aggregator function and uh, passing at here db id again okay? And here, so alias C and T. Now, here after next is going to use login name. So, add your log login, not to double M, only login name, and here alias L G M. So you can give any meaningful alias. Now here after let's uh, uh, write at this point select here after from. So from at your sys dot. So sys dot sys process. So going to use at your sys process. And here giving the condition. Of uh, where db id db id that should be greater than 0 and here making the group by so making the group by first db id next login name Or login name that require. So this is the query to find out to number of connection on database. Now let's execute and check the output. So see right here. This is a DB name. It's a display. So master or oh, next is report server master and your Adam. So master connected one times and here by using desktop item. Here after report two times here anti server report here after master 20 times by using sa user and here by uh, adam database one time by using sa data so there are different uh, database and here model repository here different so i just uh, log in this terms just to uh, change out here msdb now let's uh, execute here so see at here msdb so it's a one time and here by using sa account now here after i'm going to copy this all so I'm going to copy this all now here after going to disconnect so going to disconnect here after login so this time going to login with authentication mode windows authentication mode connected so it's the login with windows authentication mode and now here after going to use tab db now if you execute to this query again so see at here you get to login sa and here uh, tab db it's a display now i'm going to come more going to disconnect to totally now here after so right now I'm using uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2012. So you can use any of your version, whatever you like. So it's uh, connecting right now. So 
So at this time, I'm going to log in with Windows authentication here. Connect on connect. So it's so successfully login. Now here after, let's click on new query. And here, this is the database. So going to use at your model. Now going to paste the same query at here. Now execute. So you can find some differences. So see at here. Now at this time, model and here, this time it's uh, connected with the login for this one desktop and add on, not with SA account. Okay, now here after let's uh, disconnect and connect. So I'm going to use the SQL Server authentication. You to use SQL Server authentication, give the password and you have to get connected. So it's uh, connected with. Uh, Oh, SA account now here after let's give uh, a selected at your model now if you execute this one check the output so see at here let's again no any changes okay refresh now execute so master here after model so that means so uh, you have to completely disconnect after that you can find auto the query so i'm going to now now here after disconnect and connect give the password one two three four connected here after new query so this time going to use model and after pasting the same query now uh, this time i log in with sa account and currently using here so see at here model this time it's a login with SA account so this is the things so it's uh, uh, displaying number of connections so number of connection model one time so at here this is at your master 22 times so but it's a login with SA here master one time so uh, it's uh, connected with uh, different login now here after let's uh, understand this query so uh, db underscore name so this is the database name so it's uh, used to display the database name here so whatever you use the database so it will display at here now here after count db id so this is the d database id so this account to total database id so let's uh, see what to uh, more detail about to database id so i am going to use the uh, select a statement now here after passing or uh, db id database id and uh, here database id from uh, says so it's, it will come from says dot uh, or this process so you can find uh, this process so view model now here after let's the uh, uh, execute to this query so it will also uh, you database id so the database id is uh, zero here after one so different database id are available here now here after i'm going to use the database id must be greater than equal to one so for this we need to use the where and here at this point db id that must be greater than zero so it will uh, display database id greater than zero so one yeah, it's all displaying one here yeah, five three now here yeah, after so you know check uh, or to the correction so it's so uh, here dvid so it's connected one times three times five times uh so at here now here after let's give uh, at this point to uh at here giving as and here t or t f total underscore com so here it will display total connection at this point and here where so you can check total connection here so see at your total connection one one it's all on display now here after if you want to check the active or database so for this we need to use sp underscore W H O and your Q and here pass single code active 
now if you add squared to this query so see right here this is displaying sp id 1 2 3 4 login sa different logins are there but to uh, here uh, sa are active right now and uh, here this is the db name so it's uh, sa sometimes use master sometimes use to different user like model here you know, it's a display now this is a command and here this edits or display yeah so this is what db uh, id database id so database id value return integer like 0 1 2 3 and by the help of database id you can find the uh, number of connection on the database so if you execute to this query so this is the displaying number of connection so database second is cnt so here by the help of it on database id it so it's the displaying number of connections so master one time connected with this login here master this login 21 times by sa account so this is the way we can find out number of connection on database using microsoft sql server management studio so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you